Hey guys, it's iPhone House here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation, iPod Touch first generation, iPhone 3G and 3GS, but not the iPod Touch third generation. The one that just came out, not for this one, but all the other ones. So I'm going to do it on my iPod Touch second generation with the volume locker. Okay, so first thing you need to do is download Ponus Tool. There will be a link in the sidebar to download Ponus Tool and the firmware for your device. So download both of those. Once you download it, open up Ponus Tool. Open Ponus Tool. Okay, so if you, want, if you don't want to have the 1600 error or any error, click on Expert Mode. So right here, click Expert. Now select your device. I'm going to do it on my iPod 2nd generation. Then click Next. Now just... Okay, now, now uh, browse for your the firmware that you just downloaded. So now it's right there. I click Open. Make sure that's it. Click open. Process checking. Now you can you can choose uh, whichever you want, but you can, you can customize the logo, city of packs, custom package, and I'm just gonna click build. Now what you want to do is click save, but I already, already saved it to my desktop, so I'm not going to do it. But you're going to click save. I'm just going to console. It's just saying I didn't do it because I didn't save, but I already have it on my desktop. So now what you want to do is open up iTunes. No, first you want, what you want to do is put your iPod or your device in DFU mode. So hold the power and the hold button for 10 seconds. One. Once you hear that noise, let release the power button and keep holding the home button for 5 seconds. And then what, once you hear the noise again, just let it go. And now your iPod is in DFU mode. Now it says here your iPod is in recovery mode, so just click OK. So now you should click uh, restore and then uh, browse for the firmware that you just made with Polar Store. Once you do that, you it's gonna restore your iPod and then your iPod should be jailbreaked. So I forgot to tell you guys that your iPod or iPhone has to be downgraded to 3.0. So if you don't know how to downgrade, I'll have a video on the right of, in the in the in the sidebar. So make sure you go check that out before you. Do this tutorial so you have to have it downgraded to 3.0 before you do this and all you iPhone 3G users I'm gonna have another video for you guys so make sure you subscribe and that's all about it thanks for watching peace